the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Saint Elijah, prophet. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the second mysteries. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers Dear and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and my words, words, in what you have done, in what you have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, virgin, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. ever-living God, your prophet Elijah, our Father, live always in your presence and was zealous for the honor due to your name. May we, your servants, always seek your face 
and bear witness to your love. We ask this, O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. When Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done and how he had put all the prophets to the sword, Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, May the gods do this to me and more. If by this time tomorrow I have not made your life like the life of the one of them. He was afraid and fled for his life. He came to Beersheba, a town of Judah, where he left his servant. He himself went on into the wilderness, a day's journey, and sitting under a first bush, wished he were dead. Lord, he said, I have had enough. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down and went to sleep. But an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around, and there at his head was a scone baked on hot stones and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, or the journey will be too long for you. So he got up and ate and drank. And strengthened by that food, he, he walked for 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. There he went into the cave and spent the night in it. Then he was told, go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. Then the Lord himself went by. There came a mighty wind, so strong it tore the mountains and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind came an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a sound of a gentle breeze. And when Elijah heard this, he covered his face with his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Then a voice came to him which said, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I am filled with jealous zeal for the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I keep the Lord always in my sight. The Lord always in my sight. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. I keep the Lord always in my sight. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls to me. I keep the Lord always in my sight. I keep the Lord ever in my sight since he is at my right hand. I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices. My soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. I keep the Lord always in my sight. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. 
At your right hand, happiness forever. I keep the Lord always in my sight. Alleluia, alleluia. This is my son, the chosen one. Listen to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up the mountain to pray. As he prayed, the aspect of his face was changed and his clothing became brilliant as lightning. Suddenly, there were two men there talking to him they were Moses and Elijah appearing in glory, and they were speaking of his passing, which he was to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions were heavy with sleep, but they kept awake and saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As this were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is wonderful for us to be here. So let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what he was saying. As he spoke, a cloud came and covered them with shadow. And when they went into the cloud, the disciples were afraid. A voice and a voice came from the cloud saying, This is my son. The chosen one listened to him and after the voice had spoken Jesus has, was found alone the disciples kept silence and at that time told no one what they had seen the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ after the, all the efforts of Elijah Still, there are many positive, negative and positive comments. So we can hear the words of Elijah now. I have enough. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. My dear friends, isa mo man yata relasyon, no? Kung sa... Sa journey, to subong as a church, we call, we also reminded of that synodal, synodal journey. Is ameta din si mantita, if there are challenges along the way, especially relationship, may atawag man nga, sunggudality. Gasunggud along the way. Kung may synodality, may sunggudality man. This experience of Elijah, Despite all his efforts, my mga comments, Jezebel sent a messenger. My dear friends, if he only please man, damo kita, may experience han, nga despair, loss of hope. But if only please God, with his grace and mercy, damo kita may maubran. There, we see Elijah full of despair. No? Spirin siya mas sloth, sleeping, wala na may maubra. That is the moment of at, at the state of sin. No? Kasi akin, a moment man nato, nga mo sina. No? Loss of hope, sloth, but the Lord doesn't give up on Elijah. He sent angels to remind him of the presence of God. 
And last part of our first reading today, Elijah heard the voice, not in the strong wind, not in the earthquake, but in the whisper of God. The Lord invites us, despite all the comments, despite all our struggles, remember this always. We can hear the whisper of God in silence, in our prayers, that we give us hope to our journey towards holiness. Tinigugma ko mga utod, gustong gudaliti lang tungod kay be please man. We can have a synodal journey towards holiness if we please God. Do all, all our efforts to please God. And we can, only da, we can only do that if we listen to Him in our prayers, in the discernments. In our gospel today, we're reminded once again, if we go back on the ang, pre, ang chapter before this, chapter 9, ang mga chapter before this, verse before this, Jesus, Jesus is talking of his passion and death. And the disciples experience also lost hope. Imagine that, no? Your great teacher, your master, saying to his disciples, Nga maantos ako mapatay, who will suffer and experience death. Di pa nila, di pa nila matindihan ng resurrection. So, our disciples, the disciples experience also lost hope, despair. But in our gospel today, transfiguration story to give them hope. Naginasundan nila hindi tao lang, kundi Dios nga matuod. And Peter said, "We make three tents: one for you, one for Elijah, and one for Moses." But the Lord said to him, he, the Lord told him, this is the chosen, this is son, the chosen one. Listen to him. What is the point of the Lord? That you must not build tents here. You must go for a mission. We experience Nakisado ginalift up ang aton despite of our experience of lost hope. Ginalift up kita sa aton kabuhi. Experience siya kita joy. Experience siya kita nga may mga may mga victorious moments sa aton kabuhi. That's not only for us. The grace of this is not only for us, but for the mission. Kisa binato na muna na we build tents pero ang ginoo og hambal sa aton we do it for the mission para sa mission for synodality as we journey together we may reminded once again if we please God if we please man matabog nga sungodality but if we please God we can experience a real synodal journey towards holiness. Amen.
God our Father spoke to His people and prophets, now speaks to us in His Son, through whom He desires to unite all men to Himself. Let us humbly pray, Lord, draw us to Yourself. Lord, draw us to Yourself. Lord, you revealed yourself to the prophet Elijah in silence and solitude. Help us to put aside all that can prevent us from hearing your voice so that we may seek you unceasingly until we find you. Lord, draw us to yourself. Lord, at the brook of Cherith, you gave Elijah water to quench his thirst. Let us drink from the living springs of love and contemplation. Lord, draw us to yourself. Lord, you filled the prophet Elijah with strength as he walked towards Mount Horeb. Strengthened by the body and blood of Christ, may we journey and wear it towards you. Lord, draw us to yourself. Lord, you revealed yourself to Elijah in the murmuring of a gentle breeze. May we learn silence and docility to perceive the slightest breathing of the Holy Spirit. Lord, draw us to yourself. Lord, you raised up Elijah like a fire and made him burn with seal for your glory. Fill us with the fire of your love so that we may be zealous in the service of your church and our brethren today. Lord, draw us to yourself. Almighty and ever-living God, your prophet Elijah, our father, live always in your presence. You may always and was zealous for all honor due to your name. May we, your servants, always seek your face and bear witness your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray with your brothers and sisters and the sacrifice in your son be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, look with favor in your church offering. Accept the gifts we bring you now. As once you accepted by a miraculous sign the sacrifice of your prophet Elijah, Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks, O Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and ever to give you thanks. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. You raise up the prophets to proclaim you and the true and living God and to each your people to hope for salvation. To Elijah the Teshbi, you showed your special friendship and made his burning zeal for your glory. A witness to your power and mercy, you gave him who walk in your presence the joy of beholding Christ's transfiguration with your Son in all your holy splendor. In our ending joy, we echo on earth the song of the angels in heaven as they praise your glory forever. of all holiness. Make holy therefore this case we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a Jew fall so that they may come for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and Nancy will into his passion. He took bread and gave it thanks, broke it. Gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave it thanks. He gave it to his sapo, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For it is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the child of salvation, giving thanks to have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis Sir Pope, Patricia Bishop, we sent her Bishop Mary Tuz and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who fall asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all of thy your mercy. Welcome them in the light of her face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Sebastian, Saint Elijah, 
Saint Teresa of Child Jesus, Saint Teresa of Avila, Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We are meant to be co heirs with your life. May praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with the man in him, and the unity of the Holy Spirit. Oh, glory nor is your soul, mighty Father, forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Dear us, Lord, we pray from every evil and grace we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to our apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of our church. May grace you grant our peace, unity, and accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer a shot or the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us spring. Lord God, you have nourished us at the table of your Son with the food and drink of angels. May we constantly seek you here in faith and so rejoice forever in the sight of you when you reach the mount of your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.